Hi, thank you for watching the startup video on the Fujifilm FinePix HS20 EXR model. This is a brand new model for 2010 and 11, sorry, and it replaces the HS10 uh, of last year. So this video is going to show you how to get this camera up and running for the very first time. Of course, I, I have with me the cap already attached to the camera to protect the lens. Uh, first thing first, the camera does come with a lens hood. Um, in Canada, and is, is to attach this lens hood, I guess you just match this little uh, uh, a mark here, and then you just twist it, and it clips in place. There we go. And that lens hood helps to protect from uh, flaring from uh, the sun when you're shooting in bright sunlight. Um, and it also is reversible, so if I remove that, I can actually insert it the opposite direction, like this. And again, doing the same technique, uh, just I'm gonna find that thread and just turn it. And it actually keeps it nice in place where I can actually put the lens cap uh, on the camera and, uh, and then it keeps it very compact in that sense if you want to store it in your bag. So for this demonstration purposes, I'm just going to take that cap off and I'm going to show you how to get this camera up and running again for the very first time. First things first, the camera uses four AA batteries. Uh, it does include uh, one-time use alkaline batteries. Uh, however, we recommend you to pick up a good set of nickel metal hydride batteries. Uh, and even there's actually some low discharge nickel metal hydride batteries that are uh, slightly less rated than standard nickel metal hydrides but last very, very long due to the characteristics of voltage, um, maintaining its higher voltage than standard nickel metal hydride. So again, highly recommend rechargeable batteries for this camera, but for this demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use the batteries included. So let's take a look at the bottom of the camera. This is where the battery cover is, and basically this is the knob that says open. So I'm going to push up on that and slide it to the, my left, and we have it now open, and it's where the actual battery goes in. Uh, there's a little diagram right here that shows you how the battery's uh, orientation fits to the camera. So I'm just going to follow that diagram by putting plus there, minus, plus, and of course minus. So again, I'm going to close the lid by doing, and, and it's pressured spring-loaded as well, so I'm going to hold it down and as I hold it down, I'm going to slide it in towards the camera, and it's now locked in place. Um, if, the camera, if the camera doesn't turn off, then you want to make sure that you have inserted the batteries correctly and that they're actually fully charged. So let's get the camera up and running uh, and turn it on. First things first, there's two ways. Um, first off, you know, the on and off switch is actually on the top. So I'm going to slide this so it faces the, the on position. And the camera should switch on for me if I have the batteries in correctly. Now, you know, if this is the very first time you turn the camera on, it's going to ask you um, some basic setup questions like what menu systems you want in terms of the language. Also, it's going to tell you to change the date and time and um, also um, power saving modes and whatnot. Now, um, so I'm going to select English by using this uh, directional pad, the menu OK button. I can push up and down, select English, and push OK. Now, this because now I went right to this screen because you know, this is not the very first time I actually turned the camera on. So if it is your very first time, it will ask you to, to adjust the date and time. You can also go back into the menu of the camera and go into the setup um, by doing this, and you can actually go back and change the, your language settings and your date and time if you uh, did not do that earlier. So that's what the screen sort of looks like uh, when it is uh, turned on for the very first time. So I'm just going to get out of that for a second. I'm in the shooting mode. The camera does have a mode dial. I can switch to the different shooting modes. EXR is basically the, um, a specialized mode where it determines the type of scene you're shooting as well as the type of lighting situations. Uh, we do have a video on this, so you can check that out later. Then we have things like program auto mode, shutter priority, aperture priority, full manual control, so you can adjust both aperture and shutter. Custom modes where you can actually set custom settings and the camera will, will remember that. There's also a swing panoramic or sweep panoramic feature that allows you to sort of uh, rotate the camera and it captures um, panoramas in 360s. There's a couple scene position modes. Uh, one defaults to landscape, the other defaults to portrait. But if you push the menu OK button, you can actually change that to a different type of shooting mode. Okay, then we have the advanced mode which allows you to do things like the pro focus and also the pro low light features of this camera. Again, we do have demos on that. For this purpose, I'm just going to leave it on EXR um, and we'll show you how to get uh, started by taking your picture for the very first time. So of course the camera does have a shutter button. Taking pictures is as easy as basically just pushing the button completely down uh, and it takes the shot, as you can see. 
Now, ideally, when you want to take a photo, you want to use the, the half press technique, which is half pressing the shutter button down so it finds focus. And once that's done, you push the button all the way down and it takes the shot. So that helps to reduce the shutter lag between shots. So instead of just doing this, you know, you want to basically just push halfway down and, and take shots. Now, my, my memory card's full. And one thing I forgot to tell you is actually how to insert the, the memory card. So let me turn off the camera. And on the side is where the compartment is. I'm going to slide it open and it reveals the memory slot portion. Now I have here with me, of course, a uh, standard SD card, a 2 gig standard SD card. This camera shoots 1080p video with stereo sound. So if you intended to use this camera to shoot high quality video, we highly recommend you purchase a class 6 card or higher in terms of rating. And that will allow you to properly record HD video without the camera interrupting the recording time. Now to insert the card, uh, there's only one way to doing it. So if I put it incorrectly, the card will not go in. As you can see, no matter what I do, so don't try to jam that in. Um, basically, the back of the card, which is where the contacts are, faces the back of the camera. So I'm going to insert that in this way and push it in, and it's spring-loaded, so it stays in. Now, if I push it again in, it now ejects the card for me. So that's the proper way of inserting it and, and taking that out. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera back on again, and I'm going to fire a bunch of shots for you, like what we did earlier. Okay, and one trick, zooming in, this actually has a manual zoom, just like some digital SLRs. Now this camera is not a digital SLR in the sense you can't remove the lens, it's fixed in, but I mean, a 30 times zoom, 24 mil to 720 mil, that's extremely long. That's almost like having two different lenses built to this camera, and aside from that, you can get right up to one centimeter in terms of super macro. So really, um, it's a nice alternative to picking up a DSLR camera, but again, the zoom is manual. And you basically, the benefits of that, of course, is the speed at which you can move and pinpoint where you want to get that. And it's infinite steps, basically. So you're not controlled by electronic steps. It's manually controlled by your fingers or, or hands. As you can see, zoom in, take a shot. There we go. Zoom out, take a shot. OK. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And see, I can have multiple steps. Uh, the screen does indicate the zoom range as I, as I turn it from 30 down to, um, to 6. So it's slightly bright here. It's hard to see. OK, so that's just the zooming. So how do you uh, look back at pictures on this cam? There's actually a playback button here. We push that button. OK, and we can use the directional pad to navigate between the shots. So by going forward or backwards, we can see the different images. We can hold the button down. And it will just zoom right through the images very fast. Again, this camera uses uh, EXR technology. So it does have a, a dual core processing chip as well as its, its regular core chip uh, to, uh, to do all the processing work uh, in terms of video and, and, and photo capture. So it is very fast compared to some of all the other models. That's why it's an EXR models are premium cameras. You can also use this, Command Dial, and rotate that to actually be, go between different shots as well. So that's optional for you. So to delete an image, uh, there is an instant delete option. You push up on it, and it says erase OK. I'm going to push OK, push up, and I'm going to push OK to confirm, and that image is deleted. OK, I can go to the next shot, push up, up, OK, and now that image is deleted as well. Now, if I wanted to select images or delete all the images, I can push the menu OK button and select erase, and then move over to the right, and now I can select from three different options, frame, selected frames, and all frames. So if I wanted to, to delete all the, all the pictures, I can do that, or I can do the select frames. So I'm going to do that and show you how that works. I only have two images on this camera. So to select a frame, I can navigate using this directional pad. I'm going to select that one, so I'm going to push OK. And you know what? That's all the images I really want to delete. Um, but let's say you wanted to select another couldn't by pushing OK. If I, if I want to deselect it, I push OK again, and the check mark goes away. I push the display back button. And it says, I have one selected. Do I want to delete it? I'm going to go OK. Boom. That image is now deleted. So that's just a quick way of getting this camera up and running, taking pictures, playing back images, deleting images, selecting images. Um, one last thing, of course, is if I wanted to navigate and zoom in on the images, I could as well. So by pushing the, um, uh, by pushing the, um, the zoom control button on, on the camera, so on the side, there's actually a, a little magnifying here that says plus and minus. So if I push plus, I zoom in. If I push the minus, 
I zoom out, so that's a little blue icon there. You can see. And I can pan using the directional pads. So going left, going right, going up, going down. Look, that's me in a picture. If I want to get out quickly, push display, and there we go. So that's just a quick look at the HS20 on how to get this camera up and running for the very first time. Thank you.